Hello everyone, we are live with a Season 13 Top 16 game. Today we have Dylan on the red side, Dojo DC, and he's against Rookie Boy on the blue side. Looks like Dylan is playing a Wakanda list, uh, and looks like he's bringing Magic, Bill, Sam, Voodoo, Hulk, and Ultron uh, to join him, so that's pretty cool. And... He's got second wind in here, so it looks like he's got the Avengers flex. All right, he's got a dual affiliated roster here. On the other side, we have the Hellfire team by, let's see, that, that, yeah, we've got Corvus, Thanos. Oh my, are we seeing Mothership in here? So this is a Black Order Hellfire combo as well. All right, very cool. I'm going to let the players know they're live, that we're live. And joining me on commentary today is Caller. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Thank you. All right. What do you think of these uh, two dual affiliation rosters here? Uh, I think it's cool. I mean, um, I, I think the uh, the fact that you can now splash Black Order again is interesting. And I guess it sort of complements uh, the Emma White gave them plan with being able to play an arrow uh, Black Order team. And I, I think I enjoy the I enjoy the fact that you that you can basically play either Sam Avengers or Wakanda on the Black Panther. That's a really cool. A little splash thing. Yeah, it's cool how they both um, are. It, it's going to be a little bit of list chicken situation here, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you play Black Order, so. you're going to want Sam Avengers. But if they play yeah. as Hellfire, you're going to want Wakanda. So yep, you're, exactly. You're, they're both. We could see uh, this be um, this be pretty interesting. Let's see how this goes. All right, they're rolling priority. Yeah. And Looks like we have Dylan. Wait. Yes, yes. Yes. All right, so I guess the crises will kind of probably put us in a spot where it's it's uh we've got sort uh, of obvious. Yeah, it'll be sort of <laughs> we'll generally. See. Yeah. Uh gamma, gamma on the Wakanda side. Yeah. But they're all playing they're other than that they're playing a lot of similar stuff, high scoring mm. secures. Gamma is the only think... one. I think I would be a bit concerned about picking secure here. Getting, uh, he he went with extracts, oh, yeah. Because you if you get gamma wave and then you're playing, you play gamma wave on seventeen. Well, I guess we're playing twenty. <laughs> yeah. So, Scrolls and scoundrels. All right, this is going to be a, a lot, lot of, lot of models. points. A lot of points on the on the on the board. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and looks like Dojo DC red side. He has got the priority here, but the extracts mm -hmm. are even, but the secures are odd. So this does. I think this. Uh, favors uh this favors rookie boy for the round mm -hmm. one just like on the surface level because of that yeah i agree i think and i mean we we have to see hellfire club here there's no no way we're seeing anything else from rookie boy i think uh and he has the has the i mean he could put thanos into hellfire and have the last activation with thanos potentially he has does he have a five wide available yeah, I'm he does. Sure. Yeah, because you would just need like a three-three-two kind toad. of situation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you could have a you could have a situation where you run. Did he bring? Oh, he has only one gem. It looks like only the oh. mind gem. That was pretty interesting. Oh, I think yeah, that's that probably is interesting. That is probably the whole. Uh, this is what Lush played at the WTC, where he brought a a fifteen uh, Black Order splash. Mm. Uh, in his criminals team to be able to play on researcher. Yes, yes, that's um. So you know what? Now we could see. Now that you now mentioned that, that's a good. That's a good catch. We mm -hmm. uh, we could see uh four 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 eight three yeah. two on uh yeah. on R rookie boy's side here, uh, and that mm -hmm. would go five wide. But like the the question is like, does does Dylan go? Does, can Dylan go seven? He could probably go six wide here, right at twenty. So it's like if yeah. you, going stretch. I don't know. I think we see a six on six is what I'm, that, I'm guessing. That's probably what I would expect as well. Yeah, this is um, <laughs> this is pretty intense. This is the last <laughs> game of the top sixteen, and uh, and it after is. this, um, we're gonna probably get the pairings later today. So that makes me a little oh, anxious. That's gonna be, yeah, it might be interesting. I'll see who. Yeah. Um, who ends up versus who? Both this of is us. Another hellfire. Yeah, both yeah. of us are, are through to the top eight. So that's right. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah. the uh, the thing is that because the way the brackets work too, and that's that mm -hmm. same bracket players will not get paired against each other unless it's forced to happen. 
Yep. And uh, and if uh, if Rookie Boy wins here, that'll be the fourth mm-hmm. European to make it through to top yeah. eight. So it means that uh, guaranteed it's going to be yep. a Europe versus the world uh, if that happens. That is so, very much what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> So it's interesting. It means that uh, um, it's inter- but like also on top of that, I was pointing out um, to other people like on Discord or whatever that mm-hmm. this uh, man, this top eight is pretty stacked. Okay, like you've got. Uh, I mean, just if you only look at the TTS results, um, yeah. like from previous seasons, uh, you've got Pat's won three times, Deaton's won mm-hmm. once, I've made the finals, Leafs made the finals, yep. and Liam's won the finals. So there's five yeah. people in the top eight <laughs> there, that have been, is, that have uh, been it there. Is, it is a slack field. I am <laughs> slightly, slightly uh, anxious. <laughs> Let's put it like uh, that. Dude, it's I, all good. Well, you know what? The thing is that um, I've, uh, I'm sure all of us are anxious, right? Like, uh, yeah. I'm I'm anxious like I'm anxious like I'm I'm uh, my stomach You've been has here little, before. <laughs> yeah my stomach has constricted a couple times this uh, afternoon yeah. knowing that I'm getting the my my top eight pairing later today probably okay, so. we're getting some things activated here. Cool. All right, let's see so. what uh, let's see what Dylan's playing here. Dylan is playing a Wakanda list. He's bringing five wide Panther, Killmonger, Shuri, and Sam and Hulk to help him out. And he's bringing Wakanda Forever, Spirit of Wakanda, Advanced R&D, Usurp the Throne, and Brace for Impact. Yeah, we, we did get the expected uh, Hellfire Club here. We have uh, a fallback, uh, my Hellfire Club. This is Robert Sacrifice Face Me, and he's playing Emma, Ultron, Rhino, Bill, and Miles. That is a stacked team as well. Yeah, that's Holy. right. Um, that is a lot of control and a lot of attrition. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, he's sides. gonna be popping. <laughs> it's it's gonna be uh, both sides. Yeah, I I think the usurp here is really cool. This is when I was playing into yeah. Wakanda earlier this season. I um I knew that I felt like Ultron was too dangerous to bring into a Killmonger like yeah. usurp option because yeah sure he he I mean you just play usurp earlier if you can yeah. on his injured side um and uh. And even if I mean, even if you played on his KO'd side, like that could you could be at fourteen points, and then Ultron could yep. be at six health left on the injured side. And it's like, all right, well, I'm just gonna kill you, and I I win the game like on the spot. Yeah. So, um, it's and notably it's he did not bring Age of Ultron. I don't even know if he had it in his stand, to be honest. Oh he yeah, that's her. right. Oh, that is very that's interesting as well. So we might see a different play pattern with Ultron than mm-hmm. than shoving him right down the middle. <laughs> yeah. I also think that's that's probably I think Age of Ultron is a bit of a trap card. You, uh, I've always felt I've played Ultron in Cabal and I've played him in X Men. I even tried him in uh, uh, I played him a bit in Hellfire as well. You kind of want people to attack him because he gets so much more powerful when he has power. Yeah. Like when his spender is online, uh, he can do so much more. I feel so. Uh, I'm. I, it's sort of this like if you bring Age of Ultron, you're sort of sort of almost making people play the way they should be into him, which is just throwing him away with size three throws. <laughs> that's uh, that's very fair. Yeah, the uh, basically the play against Ultron when he has the card is like I'm just gonna daze him on the last round yeah. of scoring, and we're just gonna, like as yeah. long as you're maintaining parity, and then on the last yeah. round you hit him with that last couple points of damage, and yeah. he just doesn't get to activate at all, and uh, that's that's sometimes enough to yeah to to take the ex to take the point lead, and then there you go, you get you get the win. But uh, yeah. Yeah, looks like we're seeing uh, the Sam, or sorry, the Wakanda side just deploying pretty much in the middle here. Sam is eyeing up that middle scroll, uh, and we've got the Hellfire with Ultron in the middle, Beta Ray Bill and Miles on this bottom flank here. The the one thing that scrolls is uh, is important to be careful of is that if uh, if your opponent lead opens up with a flank sc- scroll grab. You mm-hmm. probably need to respond with a flank scroll grab of your own. Otherwise, if you grab your home one first, it's just like in hammers. Like think about think yeah. as if it was hammers. If you grab your home hammer before you grab the midline one, you're opening up the door for your opponent to grab that midline one and go up on three to one. So so yeah. some I see sometimes people do that and it's uh it's 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 forcing them to push characters into the enemy side of the board uh early on in round one, which is typically not uh ideal looking at this though i would be very surprised if uh, because this is fairly this is fairly calculated let's see we had 
I think the um, only issue we're seeing here is that Emma is forced to grab this top flank. Exactly. Uh, my, uh, no, that's that's my worry because when when Emma goes over to grab that scroll with her two physical defense, she's going to be in sort of range for Killmonger, who has who, who's just going to be able to go into her, and you don't want her exposed over there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. So I'm assuming we're going to see something like Panther double walking over to. Uh, to grab the scroll agent. Yeah, and it's also like um, when you look at the board here, you see you see the opening with Hulk though. Okay, he's gonna grab the opposite. He's gonna grab the opposite scroll and jump back. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) nice. All right, there we go. So he's immediately putting pressure on the Hellfire team. He's gonna he's gonna grab the scroll. Hopefully, he doesn't. Hmm. Okay. I would love to see him grab the opponent's scroll. Looks like he's staying. I would have liked that as well. Okay, so he's moving twice there. So he's basically getting the power on him so that he can leap if he needs to, is my guess, yeah. but it's tricky. Yeah. Um, all right, so now the thing by doing this is that a Rookie Boy now has to the pick of whichever flank option is best for him. Um, I, I assume, I'm assuming yeah. we're going to see a Miles grab on the on the right side squad agent. Yeah, I think we would see... I mean, Bill or Miles are both good. I'd like I like the Bill grab because... Um, because yeah. then you have to deal with Bill and Miles then can push into their scrolls with his Venom Blast. I, so I just figured that Bill is, is looks like he's potentially set up to go stand on the opponent's ambush secure. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Tie up that tie up that point. Um uh, so um I see that. that's that's my sort of thinking that that's why he's standing over there. Which yeah. means that we are now looking at a, uh, a that's probably the last activation I would guess. So, uh, so have... I think that uh, that um, Bill is set up to do that, but it's pretty easy to body block a medium base character off That's of true. the home secure. So all it's going to take is like a Shuri double move and be like yeah. and have the widest part of her base at the range one mark, uh, and then Bill is can't do that. So we're having Emma grab the top. All right, we're seeing things That's that I business. was not predicting these things, but uh, nope. so, let's see how it turns out. Makes things exciting when uh, when it's un- yeah. there's unpredictability. All right, I I'm guessing it's because he wa- he has more punishment on this side. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's also, I guess I guess the Killmonger can't go over that tank because it's uh, it is size three. Yeah. Also, she's not moving. Nice. Okay. So because Killmonger has a hard time going over that tank, there is uh, very little that can actually reach him now. So Panther has the ability to double walk and grab that uh, opposing scroll and then leap back onto the point. Yeah, I mean, like that seems. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's, 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 he could he, he could do it with the with the bottom bottom scroll here as well on the side, if he wants to go to the. Oh, we have Sam coming. Airlift. All right, we're getting an airlift here. Nice. Yeah, that that's that's just gonna do exactly what he needs. Yeah. Okay. I think airlift is one of the most underrated and uh, probably underused abilities. What are you seeing that like uh, that makes that positioning of Panther matter? I think uh, because he can now do a a solo move to the opposing scroll agent, or he can he can reach basically any point on the map uh, yeah. with a move and a pounce. Um, I'm not sure if he can reach the furthest point, but, but this allows him to punish things pretty harshly. Right. Okay. Fair. I like that. All right. So Sam is getting pushed, but. He did yeah. put himself in a spot to uh um to not be yeah. the barrels there are good. That's why that's why I thought for sure that barrel that this scroll would be picked up mm. first because it had like the most difficulty yeah, in getting could... any sort of disruption on it. Yeah. Well, that's a good position for Sam for for like he he's gonna take maybe two attacks there if yeah. they were to go on to him, but I think with uh He's, they've forgotten to flip cards, but yeah, it's okay. We'll all get them at the end of the round if uh, if, that, yeah. if that's still the case. He's misremembering the range on the attack here. If he's trying to do the range four because they're range three, I've done that myself. <laughs> it's just why I know it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. So one of the things I would like to see is setting the grunts up to uh, block pounce lanes here. 
which is potentially what he is doing. And they can also block the, if Ultron goes and grabs a scroll agent, they can also block the push. Yes, yeah. Which is looking like, so like exactly what he's trying to do. Yeah. Uh, Ultron could start out here by trying to put some... Uh, a builder into Hulk here can add both of the conditions uh, that he can do. Oh, uh, so he's... So, uh, oh, Hulk's immune to poison, but yeah, the bleed would... Yeah, like, but the bleed, the bleed, the bleed would be would be relevant. Right, that's... It's, uh, right, it's like four that's damage. Good. The one condition yeah. would amount to four damage, probably, over yeah. the course of this game. So yeah, it's... Oh. Yeah, they're just making sure that's... Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Hellfire Wakanda, is this a rerun or live? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. It's uh it's a it's live. We're doing this as the last game of the bracket. Yep. Alright, so let's see. That is a good call call out by uh the Brotherhood. Uh that Shuri is pretty good in Toltron being able to push him. Yeah. All right, so he did. Uh, he rolled the scroll, which means he's getting pushed. Yep. Yeah, it looks like just get him away from Hulk. Don't want to put that yeah. condition on him immediately. Yeah. I mean, it always sucks when, and I think he's probably blocked his own landing spot now, so he can't. He can't stand on the middle ambush. Oh anymore. yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh man. Uh, he can probably go stand on the the, the back one. Yeah, there. but the basically the drones, like if the drones uh, survive. They're going to just like get two free four dice attacks into the Wakanda team. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you can't really. Uh, I mean, that's there's, just free. There's so many terrain throws on on uh, uh, rookie boy side that those those grunts are going to be in play almost all the time. Yep. So I think we're looking at um, we're expecting Shuri to come up here and. Body block Bill maybe or try to let's see how how far up he puts um, Shuri on the point. Maybe maybe he's trying to. I don't know if he has range five there, but one attack into Ultron here would push him off the point. Oh yeah, that's. I don't think he has range five. He's not on the point too, so he. Uh, no. So he needs to just get his positioning right for next round. Yeah, yeah. So he's that's that's right. He just needs to set, set up for the next round, and he has Prio, so. Yeah. That uh, looks like that's probably block, blocking Bill. I don't think so, dude. I I'm think not that... sure. Probably, probably on the on the on on Shuri's left side, there should be enough room for him yeah. to stand. No I'm, one. but uh, yeah. So I think that Bill. Now that Shuri didn't body block there, I think that Bill has the has a window. Uh, so let's see if this. Let's see if that ends up happening. Mm -hmm. Miles is in a spot where if he doesn't do one damage here, he wouldn't be on the point. The meaning the leadership nope. would uh um would sap him of power and the, take the damage, which is not great. That's rough. Indeed. I would ooh, he's okay, so he's risking it here on four dice on four on three dice here. He's really banking yeah. on getting one damage through. I would have just double moved to the point, but uh that's yeah. uh here we go. Let's see. Well Oh he got, got it. Two. Yeah, he's already got it. Three. He even gets the throw, actually. Yeah, that's... That's p pretty huge, I think. If you can throw Sam into range of a, of a bill attack, that probably turns that play on as well. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, really tricky. And Miles, will, we're going to see Miles web swing onto the, uh, onto the point. Yeah. So into the, uh, the yeah, yeah, so he's just trying. He's put him on one health out left. The one. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume he's not gonna brace that. Yeah, no, he did not. So he Sam at one. All right, so he there go there it goes just putting him up there. I mean, you're already going to get leaped into, right? Probably no matter yeah. what. So it's like you might as well put him in a spot where it makes Panthers leap into you very awkward, forcing him to maybe have to leap bef like initially before he does the move. 
exactly. I would I would have loved yeah. to see him go further up with stealth too. Yeah, right? so so he's sort of he's sort of blocking the blocking the lane would have been nice for the pounce. Um, okay, so he's just going over there. You see? Yeah, it's um, but it's important to keep in mind here, just uh, in general, that uh, playing the game is a lot different than watching the game and and and, uh, yes. and and saying, suggesting different things that could happen. Of course, it's, and I uh, mean, because both because both Miles and Ultron is on that point, uh, we would at maximum see a a a tie for that point if they manage to either daze someone or push Ultron off the point, uh, because anything else is just. Uh, doesn't actually score him extra points. So I could see going into the middle. That's fairly free right now. He can take out the drones uh, with uh, with an attack and probably be loaded, loaded, be loaded with power for next round. Yeah. I will feed Ultron power, which is rough. All right. Um, what, do, what, what do we see here? Do we, the red. Oh, the red rolled a bunch four successes initially, or yeah, something. Yeah, that was oh. the six. They, managed, they the had different... six dice. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, they had six dice. So that was probably. All right. Before damage push, actually. So like that would actually I wouldn't have given Ultron power, right? Because he has the before. Oh, damage that's true. Push. Yeah, so, that's yeah, very true. Would have been. Uh... You're right. Yeah, there you go. Brotherhood in the chat mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Every t <laughs> man. I feel like uh, but the chat is way faster than me. Every time I say something, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, wait, that's a thing," and then I look over and chat, yeah. and like at least one person has already said it. Yeah, they've got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, there we go. Panther on the scoundrel with counting blanks means that he's going to be a tough customer. Very tough to kill or do anything to. I'm I'm just going. Oh well. Wonder. If... I don't know. I don't know if Rondo can even f can fit on that truck. It's. Uh... He can try. If his base can fit, he can get the attack in. Yeah. Yeah, this places him on the point, but it does give Panther a bunch of power. And, and, uh, and I mean, Killmonger is right there. You're setting up... To... I would, I, exactly. I would probably... I would not hate going with Bill here, rather. Oh, I don't know if he can get and... on that. But I don't know if he can get on there. Let's see. He needs to fix the positioning if he, he wants He might not. To I don't think he can... I don't think he can fit. Uh... No. No, nah, there's no, there's no way to fit. Nah, I can't fit. Classic internet. Best way to find the right answer is just to say the wrong yeah. one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so he's just gonna walk up and contest that point. That's probably, that's that's yeah. what I would have done anyway. So it's like yeah, at yeah. least you at least you tried to put your give yourself options. Yeah. Um, so. All right, so we still have not seen a leadership trigger, uh, so no, we would assume it's for the last, the last activation. Yeah, of course, of course, you want Bill to uh, get the benefit as well. So now that I say that, though, it's like maybe holding that Panther activation and displacing someone off a point to not yeah, get it. Would have maybe been maybe would have been the thing, but either way, Hellfire is like is maintaining like they're both kind of. Uh, Staying on their sides right now, so I don't know. If I mean, that would I, I would I would assume we see a walk climb over to that scoundrel with uh, Killmonger. Then, uh, the start of next activation, you have the option of either running Cap away if he survives this, or just going into Emma with Killmonger. Yeah, and she doesn't have any way to really stop um, stop Killmonger from doing whatever like to doing that. Like yep. I think that, and he's got, yeah. He's got a lot of power now. All right, so he's flipped the card. Oh, there we go. He got he caught the cards. But um, yeah. all right, so let's see. Does Bill Bill goes over here and does his summon the storm into Sam to? But this is the last activation. He could double walk to where Shuri is, but Sam is so vulnerable. You if you'd get the days here, you'd like you'd love it. I would. I I would not hate still though the the because he can't. He doesn't have enough power to pick it up. So he, it won't actually. Uh, I would probably enjoy the double walk over to this side even more because that also means you're forcing, you're forcing, uh, uh, Dylan to activate Captain America first next round. I think he's activating uh, Sam no matter what. If he like, if he lives here, if he doesn't, I think he's going first anyway. Okay. But oh, let's yeah, I mean he is. This is we have us in the storm. He paid for the shield. Oh, look at that! He's going. He's going down. Yeah. 
And now we're looking at a um the tie game here. We would have had a five had, four for yeah. Dylan, uh, but he uh he lost the scroll yeah. here. Where's four four? And looks like that's out. That's definitely out. Definitely out. And he wouldn't have had, yeah, so uh, he would need to do something with his power next turn anyway. And now we see the uh, the activation of the uh, of the very powerful Hellfire leadership. Yeah, it's pretty good. And he's good. managed to have everyone on a point, so there's a lot of power across the team. So the Ultron will take the damage on the drones, and, uh, yes. and therefore they're now set up. Ultron is now set up. Yeah. To this is this is why Ultron is pretty good in ult, in a Hellfire because yeah he will be able to activate the drones and then do maybe doing a move and attack or something like that mm -hmm. and then trigger leadership before he activates Ultron and because yep. the drones are only have one health left and they can't contest they will lose that last health blowing up giving Ultron the power for each character dazed or sorry mm -hmm. each character that took damage char basically charging up Ultron going from Probably two to he'll be at maybe five or six power at yeah. the, uh, something like that before he gets I, to activate. I, I would assume you would in that case activate the drones, uh, double walk to between yeah. between Panther and Hulk, and make sure that you get because that's two more power. Yes, Hulk exactly. On, he's, he's at four power. He puts damage into both Panther and Hulk. Yeah, I mean you could even do something like um, put it on to like double walk into Shuri and Sam, who are both like vulnerable characters too. Like if you can take out if you could take out both of those characters, uh, yeah. you probably are just in such a good spot because they are um, because you, your out your activations will just overwhelm the other three. Yeah, I agree. I also think that this is one of the, those things where uh, if you had. If you still had uh, Sam on one, you could have double walked the agents over to wherever he was and just killed him. Right, right, yeah. Hmm. That's um, but of course we had the Wakandas going with priority here, so he's doing a yep. charge action to get within one of the scroll, and now throwing a shield into Ultron. Uh, he doesn't have Age of Ultron, I think, then that's why the he's like he's yep. going into Ultron to begin with here. The shield throw ignores the cover that the secure gives you, so but we yes. don't see any damage. No, no damage going through, and we don't have a ricochet, so that's a fairly poor throw for poor Sam. Yeah, he's probably just gonna rogue go as far back as possible. Now that he's injured, he can't win. He can't win secures right now, so. Yeah. I would assume some sort of move back. Yeah, there we go. Just as far back as possible. You've got, you're so yeah. fast that. Yeah, forcing people to double move to go go after you, or in this case, I'm guessing we're like miles miles placing and moving. He's gonna drive the forklift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What does Hellfire do now? The the um. Do you do you go with the Killmonger action on uh, on Emma right now? She is pretty vulnerable, and she's not beside Rhino for like sacrifice plays. I think I mean, that the, it's could... it's um, it's uh, Rookie's turn, so like Rhino. Oh yes, yes, I wouldn't my bad. Yeah. Rhino uh, robbing Hulk here. Uh, he's Actually. gonna okay, so he's gonna pay the three to stampede, and then yeah. no, he hold on. If he does that, he doesn't get to attack. So he's gonna is he gonna double walk and then steal from Hulk? It seems doesn't seem great. He I mean, needs... you could pro you could potentially attack Killmonger, place off of Killmonger, uh, but we were seeing Emma uh, Emma uh, getting her getting shoulder. Killmonger away here. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, she got the tree. Oh, and she did a lot of damage there. So that's a big, big throw. So he has two, two uh, successes. So he's gonna take two damage and he walked away. We're gonna see a Wakanda is... reroll here. Oh yes, that's fair. So he's right now he's taking two damage. Two. He's so he's only taking one, but okay. then he's walking away. I mean that's tolerable, uh, but the walk away part is the card that's really a bummer. That, that's that's the one you really wanted, yeah. <clears throat> because like we said, that size three he can't go over it, so it restricts his movement quite a bit. Then I would assume we see uh, Emma moving on to the point. The only thing I th I'm thinking here is that like uh, now, um, if you took that second damage, you could move spend like you could charge spender. Yeah. 
But the problem is, if you took that extra damage, it would pro- might change how where your where he positions Killmonger, and yeah. so it's like it's it's tough spot to be in. I think taking less damage overall is probably better. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're into Hellfire Club, who is already healing up all, a lot of your damage. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. So that's a fair. That's that's. Uh... Smart activation, I believe. Getting Ultron as far away from things as possible. Alright, sure he's going into Ultron here, looks like. Important note is we did not see a leadership flip at the end of round one, which would have given everyone extra power. But I assume he wants to save it to be able to heal them some. Yeah. Uh, Was there anything... I guess the thing is, like, when you're playing Hellfire, you need to basically predict what your next action is going to be. Uh, your mm-hmm. next character, or what you think it'll be, and if that character is short on power, up by one power, then mm-hmm. that's then's when you know you should probably play the leadership. But of course, like the the yeah, if you save it for later, you probably get the more benefit out of it. We're going into Bill here now with Shuri, who's looking to do oh, no interesting, damage. But interesting thing here is, uh, yeah, well, okay, so he's blocked everything, which means she's gonna push him, and he can't aggress. So so he uh, that's not strong. true. Uh, he can negate the cover. He doesn't have to choose cover here. So he could take yes, one. Yes, but she could switch to doing two damage. Oh, she'll pay one shield. to take shields. Oh, she didn't I'm though. Not sure if he does. Oh no, she didn't. She didn't, but she should have spent one here to convert, make shields count instead of hits count. He Ma- or he just chose to take the cover. Chose not to use cover. Yeah. 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 Okay. There we go. Yeah. So he could have made sure that uh, he got the push uh, without uh, without the aggressive. Right by, by paying, paying by, by yeah. go ahead by paying the 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 one power to count the shields instead, which is a very underrated power. Yeah, because ultimately, oh, so he was supposed to take a damage here, which he is. All right, and uh, and yeah, so the problem that he's experiencing now, or Dojo DC is ex- going to experience now, is that. He the Hellfire leadership is going to undo that one damage. Exactly. So and, he's just going to uh, walk yeah. back. Yep. And so the power he gained a... from the attack was free, basically, because yep. he's going to heal the damage that gave him the power. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, I, like I love. Uh, you know what? Ro- uh, Rocky Boy is playing face me here. I love it for yep. this mission. That is, is awesome. Such a such a strong card. Also very underrated. Yeah, especially if you haven't triggered your leadership yet, and you're playing on a yeah. mission that gives you cover, and you you could play it on Bill, who of yep. course uh, negates damage. So it's like, and sure, and like you just freaking I don't know, uh, you just bring Shuri right in. I don't know, maybe yep. maybe that maybe Shuri's not the right person, but um, I think if you just get him off the point, that's the thing because Shuri has activated now, and Sam has activated. I think that that the secure on that side is just pretty much just free. Yeah. Uh, up until they activate uh, Panther, I would guess. So this is interesting. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to see a throw of Sam going backwards. Towards Miles. To allow, yeah, towards Miles. So Miles can double tap with a, with, a, uh, with a place effect. Yeah, I mean, the other thought is... Um, okay, look, I was thinking about a Venom Blast as well, because you have four power yeah. here. Yeah, that's true. He can walk in Venom Blast. I I don't know if he has the range though. I'm lo- it looks close, but it looks like he could get it. So here's the yeah. leadership now. Yeah, leadership trigger. So that will blow up the grunts without them doing anything. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And it will damage uh, Ultron and. Uh, no, and so Ultron. Power. No, has he has a squad. He has a squad, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. So everyone on his team gets power again. So that's uh, that's yeah. where you want to be, at, other than the drones, which would heal Emma, but she was full health. Yeah. All right. I'm guessing we're looking up, uh, maybe a setting up for a setup for the Wakanda fire turn. Yeah, I mean, I don't like. Um, man, I don't know. Hulk, it's tricky because like you can't push into their enemy team. Uh, with Hulk, who is your less, your like your frontliner, he should be he's mm-hmm. pro- he should be your frontliner uh, typically, or like in the I don't know like in a in a spot where he can jump in, get two attacks off, and then throw someone like that's where you want him to be yeah. basically a range two leap away from the action. 
Yeah. And uh, and he's in a spot where he's a range two and a move and maybe even still not in in the action there. But it looks like Panther is is going here. Rhino can't displace Panther, so he's yeah maybe he is setting up a like a Wakanda Forever turn or something. Uh, but or what are notably we Panther Panther isn't within range one of the ambush here, so yeah. he's leaping. Uh, he must I'm... be leaping though, right? I think he is. Uh, that, that uh, it's rough to do on Emma's uh, healthy side, but I mean that's no the, the attack is coming in first. Okay, so this is a mantle. Like, yeah, mantle with an attack. And uh, yeah, not great. <laughs> oh, gosh. She's getting two successes already. That's three with cover too. So he's uh, yeah. he's got to get all of these to convert to get one damage through. He does no, get to push. Doesn't. He has a guaranteed push. Because yeah. Emma can use Shield Mind, but only on Mystic Attacks and Superpowers. And this push yes. is part of the attack. And the attack is physical. So we're seeing her just pushed off the points. Since she's already activated, she won't be able to go back. So her scoring is only from the extract this round. Then we're going to see some sort of pounce, but he might actually have a bit of a problem with the angle here because Rhino is blocking the angle. So he might be trying to push like pounce backwards towards the the back ambush instead. Yeah, I can see that. I think that angle is a bit bit off. It's very, it's tricky. It. It's very awkward. Yeah. I mean, you can do it, I think, but the angle he has now is looks like a collision. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna bump into. The, so here's um the TTS lets you do this, whereas like in person it's uh, uh, harder to do. Yeah, you're not, but not you can you it, can yeah. press E or Q on a character and rotate them. In this case, Rhino's um his little his overhang, model yeah, is yeah. has overhang that you can uh, you should be able to rotate Rhino and and uh, get through that. I don't know. Is that like? Am I like pushing the rules? Where uh, like should is that allowed? <laughs> like, I, you are allowed to to rotate them. I I I believe you you are. Uh, I sometimes do it live as well. You ask your opponent if they could just rotate their model. Yeah, yeah. They should be able to, unless it's Malekith, because we have a ruling on that. <laughs> what's the What's the deal with the Malekith? Oh, because uh, the well, wings have to be on the model. Because of his wing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he needs to be able to fit. Right, right. So. The fun, The thing is that the models themselves in this game are like uh, they're. They're like images. They're not like solid yeah. things. So it's like you can fit characters in spots where they wouldn't fit in real yeah. life. Which I don't know. Like I guess like we haven't as a community um, really. I think as a community we've been playing just the circles, right? That's yeah, that's how exactly. I understand it. Uh, and I mean we we have. I mean it's it's fair because it's online. It's going to be awkward, and then you're gonna have those arguments. So you just play the circles. That's just the way you do it. Yeah. So we're seeing a Venom Blast into Sam, I would assume, because he measured within two, so he made it there. Uh, which means uh, he will not be have he will not have enough power to 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 jump back. If he picks this, it up, yeah. If he picks it up, yeah. Which um he could uh um okay so he will pick it up though because Ultron will get back onto the point. So yeah. it's not like he's he's losing a secure or anything. No, that's true. All right, Sam taking a bit of damage. Taking two, I believe, and then dropping the scroll for miles. Oh, uh, are we seeing Shuri? Okay, we're seeing a uh, Shuri, Shuri roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we do. I guess we do have the, the Wakanda leadership reroll as well, if we want to. No, he did not take that one. Yeah, he wants to keep the two power to be able to raise shields again, potentially. Or have them have uh, have more power for things next round. Yep. I, I would not hate a Ultron attack into Sam at this point. No, that sounds like sounds scary for Sam. Yeah. All right. So he uh, rolled on the scroll, and Miles did not move. So he's gonna be stuck there with one power. But uh, he's got the extract now. So Hellfire is uh, you know doing Hellfire things right now. Yep.
All right. Well, now uh, I think Dylan's got to make something happen here. Yeah, I mean, we have seen the... I guess we could see a just a charge into Rhino on that point, but that will give Rhino a ton of power. Yeah, it gives them enough to... Okay, so, yeah, because oh, Rhino... Spender for the stagger. A move. That okay. is pretty smart. I like that. All right, seven dice in the Rhino. Place, because, yeah. So he will stagger, and then he will place onto the onto the ambush if he gets the... Uh, he, needs if he, gets the wild, he needs damage yeah, for the place. But he rolled yeah. really well. He rolled, right. he rolled well. Uh, Rhino is uh, seven, one, two, blocks two with cover, so takes reduced by three, seven. That's four damage into Rhino with a wild stagger. That's a big. That's a big. But I'm he's. I'm also assuming that we're gonna see. Ah, uh, well, I mean, he's gonna aggressive the wrong direction in that case. Yes. Yes. And uh, all right. So I wasn't sure if he was gonna pay an extra power, but he. Uh, but Killmonger probably wants two next round for the charge. So. Uh, yep, yeah, that's why he opted to not use his Wakanda reroll. And Rhino now vulnerable. Uh, do you still you? I think you. I mean, I think you still play. Yeah. Robber, you dash. You play robbery, and then you move onto the point as your first action. You move onto the midpoint or something, and then you you just throw Rhino. Or you throw Hulk medium. Yeah. So he's yeah. lining it up. See what happens here. The uh, so he's thinking. Oh, he's thinking he might not get in range one after the stampede. Which oh, that's I, fair. I that's, what's the? That's, I don't know what the measurement is there. Uh, so medium and a large base, and then one. Probably slightly out. I would think. It looked like it was slightly out. I mean, there is a there is a case to be made for sliding, and if you don't reach, you just move once and stands on one or the other points. Hulk is going to throw him anyway in the next activation. He's not getting around that. Yeah, um, maybe maybe he doesn't go into Hulk here. Maybe he just does a terrain at that size. What is that? Size three or size three truck terrain size, throw size three and... truck into one of them. Get the brace out. Yeah. I mean, Hulk's going to throw stuff if Rhino doesn't. So you just yeah. throw an attack into Killmonger. I don't know, like someone maybe and just stay like the, over there. The, the biggest problem right now is that Rookie Boy doesn't have control over any of the secure. Oh, moment. yeah, that is true. But he has Ultron who can encephalo beam. So he's he going does, to. He does. But that, that means unless he gets one of the, like, unless he gets, either moves Rhino to a place where he can't be thrown off, which is very hard right now with how much power Hulk has. Um, he's going to have a hard time. Like I would, he almost needs to go attrition into one of the pieces over here. I think, like, yeah, or he he does the he chances it with the robbery and then chances it that he doesn't go down from Hulk. Like, uh, ah, man, it's uh, it could easily happen though. Three health uh, left. Yeah. All right, he's looking at rotating. I'm away. thinking maybe maybe he tries to go out and go into Killmonger here. He only needs to do four damage with a uh, five damage with a seven. I guess dice my question would be like, why would you stampede off the point? He needs the extra dice. Um, but like you're. Oh yeah, that's true. You're giving cover, him cover. Yeah. So I just I guess I I don't fully understand the what the thinking is here. Maybe he's trying to like not I don't know like uh, I'm not entirely sure. But let's see what happens. Yeah, We're fine. rolling. Oh, the oh, he's that's what it was. Yeah, there we he go. He wanted the drones out. The, the um, okay, there we go. We we've connected the dots here. Yeah. I mean, I would probably have taken just throwing the truck that he was next to. Rather. Yeah, because it's you... the same thing, maybe. So, yeah. so yeah, that's that's very fair. Uh, <laughs> that's it would have done the same thing, maybe, but. Um, but it would. Ultron can throw that. But, um, He's rolled a good defense roll there. We shall see. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna do two damage. It looks like. Well, he has the cover, so one damage. Yeah, one damage. I yeah. guess he can throw the truck now as well if he wants to. 
Okay. I, you know what? I mean, thank you. Let's see. Let's see if he does. If he does, then that's that was the plan all along. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, right. We're just catching up now. Okay, he's got a little. Got a. He's just trying to hide. He's like hiding. He, Rhino's like hiding from Hulk is what he's trying to do. Yeah. Um. That's yeah. I think the biggest problem right now is, like I said, I think that with Wakanda controlling all of the secures, basically, uh, you will have uh, at most uh, rookies going to control one of the one of the ambushes. So I think that. Um, all right, so here goes the truck now. So yeah. is he and playing there brace? brace? There goes brace. Yeah, yep. he's, there goes brace. So Killmonger is out of power now, which is probably part of the plan. The uh, so the the thing that here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like what what Hulk goes to, Hulk probably goes after Rhino here. Yeah. Or okay, it looks like he's pivoting. But either way, I was thinking like an encephalo beam on Hulk will mean that, um, he can he Wakanda will only score two secures, uh the or will score one secure and and uh, Rookie Boy oh. will score one as well with Ultron. Oh. Right now, I wouldn't hate. Walking uh, Hulk over to throw Bill away. Uh, okay. Like walk, yeah, I like that. Walk, throw, uh, walk, jump to the middle. Uh, or jump to even to, like, probably the middle, uh, I would say. But be because if you have Hulk over on the side with Shuri and, and Bill, then Rhino has no one to throw with this as a robbery because neither of the other two characters who uh, uh, Dylan has on that side has anyone. So that means this is a robbery and the displacement there. It's just a dead card. Meanwhile, Rhino and Emma are both pretty vulnerable to the attacks of uh, Panther and Killmonger. So uh, like that's a very favorable situation for Wakanda on that side. While you uh, then set up... Yeah, there we go. So he's throwing Bill off now. Yeah, there we... Okay, that's, uh, that's making sense. I, I see exactly what you said. Um, uh, you're putting the spot where if you... Um, even if he does encephalo beam one of Hulk or Shuri off the points. Yeah. Uh, he it's still, still is going to, two. it's only a one point deficit for Wakanda. So it's not yeah. the, uh, looks like, yeah, but it's, all, it's also locking in the activation for Ultron because Ultron needs to be in range to encephalo Hulk, which means that Sam might be safe. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if I was Ultron here, then I would actually just go after Sam then based on that logic. Yeah. Um, yeah, because then you remove the activation, then you make sure you have the last activation. Uh, for next round, uh, or like for the for the foreseeable future, and then you just need to make up the loss. Uh, and it's not even a because... loss; it's a it's a tie game. A par you you yeah. accept parity. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I the scrolls right now are on. Uh, so Emma has Sorry. one up there. So Emma, yeah. so that side of the board, the top side of the board, only has one scroll, and the bottom, the other mm -hmm. three scrolls are on the bottom half of the board here. So yeah, it's uh, I can so having Hulk there on the bottom side it makes more sense for like because mm -hmm. he needs to impact the board impact the go where more points are basically yeah i do like the move of the drones here because they're gonna they're gonna do the the whole blow up shenanigan thing maybe um okay so we shall see we have i would not be surprised to see ultron double move to the middle and encephalo uh hulk off actually because that sets up Ultron for the next round. There's no way he can reach things where he's relevant, and he needs to be on the point for uh, the leadership next turn. I so think. maybe he isn't going to be as aggressive with Ultron because he doesn't have the card. I'm, you're you're probably right, but I think he's sort of he sort of has to, almost at this point. I think the Hellfire player. Right. Uh, you th you're, so you're worried that the Wakanda is going to win the top side and uh, and be able to maintain close close enough to parity on the bottom side so that they can. I I believe so. Right now we have uh, a three one versus. Uh, let's see. So three one on extracts, and then we have. Yeah. So we're gonna see. Now we're gonna be now we're now we're actually looking at Hellfire Club moving up uh, slightly because they're gonna take three of the extracts and one of the secures for four points. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so yeah, these yeah. they're gonna score their three. Uh, yeah, Wakanda's gonna score their three. Yeah. 
yeah, we're kind of going to score three. Uh, but we are also, we'll see. I, I believe that the situation up in the top side here is very favored for Wakanda. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, Rhino, you almost have to activate Rhino first here. Oh, so hold on. So hurt. Wakanda has priority though. So it's like, so you're probably in, uh, do you let Sam die to take out both Emma and Rhino this, this next round? Or that's what you'd expect to happen? I would, I would expect that to happen. Yeah, because you could even, um, you could even play... Um, that way you still get last activation with Hulk. Yeah, and you play with Shuri here to with Wakanda Forever as well, and you can push Ultron yeah. again. Yeah, and uh, so it, it does slow down. Like it, it means that Sam could survive, even though like I guess like Bill would just probably move, attack, and throw terrain at Sam. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Let's see. Let's see if we Wakanda. I mean, yeah, Wakandans are set up here to to take out both of these characters. Or try to. Yeah. And it's also hard because then you, you kind of don't want to move Ultron too close to kill Margaret because then you're <laughs> setting up the, the Usurp play. Yeah. I think I think if we see Usurp it'll be uh it'll be coming out at uh, fourteen points or something like that. Yeah. So that's that's a case for not using Wakanda Forever this round though, because you want to save it for Usurp. But uh, I mean if you can take out two activations with one of your character's activation, you have the other character left to activate. That's still big. Yeah, I think that um, the the we saw this in a previous game in cuts where, or I think it was in cuts where the player held on to Wakanda forever, basically until um, until it was too late. And so yeah. you want to. It's also like he might be in a spot where. Neither Killmonger or or Black Panther are in a good enough spot to play the card, and then you're not getting the full impact of it. So, so I mean, it's like here we go. We're seeing an, uh, like we're an airlift, the... or what are uh, we seeing? He doesn't. He doesn't have anyone within two when he starts, so it's probably a charge. Oh, did yeah. he spend power? Okay. He spent power. There it goes. Yeah. Uh, so he's. Uh, I'm. Yeah. Let's see who he attacks here. Only two hits. It looks like he's going into Ultron. Blocks it. No damage. But he gains a power, so he can uh, airlift Shuri if that's what... Yeah. He did do a range 2 measurement, so... He did do a range 2 measurement, so that is definitely a possibility. I think you just move Sam, like, in the back. You put him in the back. Yeah. Like, somewhere well, where he's... The... Like, if you put him in the middle, I think he's still too yeah. vulnerable, because Rhino could, like could get him or like Ultron can throw mm -hmm. a shot into him. I think you just have to accept that he's not going to score you points this round and keep him in. Yeah. His, yeah, but okay. But looks like, uh, looks like Dojo DC Dylan is going to be, uh, hoping to squeak a point out of Sam on the Sam here and, mm -hmm. and maybe be ignored because of the larger threat. Sure. He's looking to rotate. Yeah. And okay. Let's see how, um, how this is handled by a, a rookie boy. There's a case to be made for activating um, Emma here and try and mess with Panther and Killmonger. Because Emma does have good good chances of killing Panther. And uh, a spender into Panther throwing him into Killmonger, for example, if you first hit him with a builder, you can have some pretty decent success, I think. There we go. All right. Panther on Looks the point. Like so he gets cover at least. At least he gets cover in the Wakanda reroll if he needs it. Yeah. So we do have, we do not have the trigger yet. He needs to roll in a hit. Not great for Panther, though. No, that's true. It's gonna have he blocks to... one and takes two. Yeah, let's Looks see. Like. We're gonna Unless see a Wakanda reroll. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see the. He's making sure he's not gonna get advanced, or just yeah. under... so that'll help him decide if he wants to pay for the reroll. Mm. But uh, yeah, you pay for this. You're already taking the two damage. Uh you're taking two. You pay one to take one. You pay one, and you might take only one. Yeah.
Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll give, take the two. I'll take the two. And that actually gives Emma enough for the spender, which is Ooh. which feels relevant. Yep. And it also gives her enough power to be able to flip if she is attacked, which I'm not sure, but I think she can flip onto the point there. There it goes. He's spending four power and uh, doing the eight dice into Panther here. Let's see if he blocks this. He, uh, he'll he go off if he survives, though. So I'm sure Dylan's really uh, mm -hmm. hoping to squeak this one through. Oh, dude. <laughs> Panther goes down. Yeah, he goes down hard. And he gets the throw is after damage is dealt, I believe. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I thought it was before. No, before damage is yeah. dealt, actually. So she can still throw him into Killmonger. Uh get the the extra damage yeah it's tight though i don't know like okay there's like there's a window it. yeah you there's, just have there's to go there yeah oh, oh looks like throwing. he's just gonna throw into the drone oh the, oh the drones i love that that's classic <laughs> classic ultron drones yeah don't don't even risk it and just uh, let's see if yeah. they, let's see if they uh Let's see if they blow up or not. They blow if they whiff. Okay, they take so they take, uh, they take two. two. But this is this is where Hellfire. So he can, can use the leadership right now <laughs> and 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 base them. Uh, uh yeah, and blow them and blow them up and pushing damage on Killmonger and giving Ultron more power. Um, yeah. but I think that I don't like it's like. And that would that would hurt Bill, I guess. So. I think you. I think you let. I think that you let the drones get like a full at like two attacks, and then you blow them up. Yeah, is what I'm thinking here. But uh, all right, it looks like we're gonna. He's gonna try to take out the Rhino activation, which yeah. would open Early up Hulk activation here. Yeah, it's gonna open up Killmonger to be able to go into Emma. Is the idea yeah. now? There is um. Oh, hold on. What's he doing? Oh, he did use the leadership. Oh, okay. So it's going to give Ultron a power, and Killmonger is going to take damage there. All right. So, so I would assume that the leadership used. Yes, there we go. Uh, that means that we should be seeing damage on Bill, because he's not contesting anything. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'll write that in there. Yeah. Um. We should be seeing healing on Rhino as well. Oh, he did. He did do healing right now. Okay, cool. He was at four damage before. So he should either be at three power. Well, no, he he lo uh, does he only lose power if he takes damage from the leadership? I'm not sure. Oh, did he pay? He paid. Oh, how did he do this? No, he doesn't. No, have he, he gained. Power. So I'm seeing here, Bill gained power here. He shouldn't have. Yeah, he that's what I'm No, he shouldn't. He shouldn't have. So Bill should. Uh, he could pay, so you could remove two power and not have him take any damage, but you'd still lose the power. Um, all right, they're not. Uh, all right, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, maybe they don't see. They didn't see the message. No, I don't think they see it. So the chance. Let's see. I'll give them another second. All right, I'm gonna jump in their chat. So I will be yep. right back. Yep. <laughs> And, uh, hey, hey guys, awesome. sorry, before you yeah. uh, do that, um, Bill uh, is not contesting, and so the leadership trigger would have caused a, a different outcome than gaining a power. Oh, totally, yep. So... All right, there we go. got it fixed. Cool, there we go. All right, so we're seeing Shuri attack into Ultron. I think that's fine. You're just reducing his efficiency. There's no damage. Well, there's a, there's a while there. But he does get the skull, power. so he's going to get... Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, you could have put a shot into Bill as well, trying to push him off. 
It's tricky because like six into four uh, is like you you're can, gonna you get you're gonna the get whole... the damage through, and therefore you you're can, gonna you get can the you can do the count count shields, and that's that's probably yeah. one of the things I need to ask about for for the post game discussion. Um, okay. one of those things that uh, I've seen them do quite a lot to me when I'm playing Bill. So right, right. All right, cool. So we have the double contest on the middle point here by the. Welcome the team. Yep. So it means that um, is, well, we do have Sam is injured though. So as long as you get one healthy character on besides yeah, Shuri, you're, you're probably fine. It. Yeah. So let's see. They've. So Ultron's activation will be pretty bad, I think. Here. I'm 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 st confused. Like I guess like in my mind I'm thinking like I can't believe Rhino still hasn't activated yet. I feel I feel like he yeah. feels so vulnerable here, but um hmm, maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's the the sacrifice being online is is a problem yeah. or something. All right. Let's see if Shuri takes damage here. Blocking two with the cover. And she does have the reroll as well. So, but she won't need it. She's taking no damage. Right, and Miles is gonna just pull back here. I mean, yeah, okay. So at least he has he has the scrolls. He's going two there. I think that's that's viable enough. Yeah. Uh, like, and we do have uh, rookie ways in the lead, uh, points wise. I would have liked but... to see Miles go on to the other secure. I don't know, like yeah. maybe because Ult Ultron would stay on the one Miles is on, and Bill would just double walk and throw, mm -hmm. and Hulk into and Hulk into Sam or something like that, or, or a size something into Sam maybe. All mm -hmm. right, we've got Killmonger going into into Rhino here. Oh, that is going to be rough for Rhino. Oh, he blocked Rhino just triple blocked though, so that is true. Uh, all right, he has the power to change into shields. So yeah, he could so... he could do five with a pierce into four. Oh my goodness, that's only one damage onto Rhino <laughs> if he pays for the shield. I guess you, why would yeah. you pay for the shield? Well, you pay shield to do one damage and then you attack him again. I guess. Yeah, but I'm gonna. I think we're gonna see a sacrifice because of that, maybe. Um, in like Emma, I don't know. Do we see a sacrifice in Emma, or like I don't? I just don't know. There is the the Wakanda Forever is still online, and Shuri hasn't. Uh, Shuri could now shoot uh, Killmonger as well. So, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh no, she can't. No mind. She could shoot. Uh, I mean, she, shoot she could. She. Uh, she's not in range of Rhino and uh, Mas. No, no, probably not. Yeah, so we're, I think we're seeing Sacrifice as a potential card here. Is that what Rookie Boy is thinking about? Fallback? He's playing Sack. All right. Yeah. Cool. Now, I would probably flip here to flip into the Secure with Emma. Having two bodies on it would be pretty nice. I can see that. He opted not to. He's taking, yeah. uh, but he's not taking much damage, if anything. One damage through. One damage through. Oh, man. That's tough. Killmonger did not get what he wanted to here. Uh, no. They do, like... I mean, you could play Wakanda Forever here to try and put down Rhino. He never paid to do the one... No, he did pay to do the one damage. So here the question is, do you think... Yeah. This is a reroll on Emma, I think. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Oof. nothing tough he's not he's always he's saving the card here yeah obviously we'll see what what happens but that is like rhino is in such a precarious position now with having only three health left and the fact that like you said the fact that he hasn't activated yet is pretty crazy yeah the i mean like uh why okay so he's just gonna do an attack into killmonger like why wouldn't he? I guess I don't understand why he wouldn't just double attack in a Killmonger and throw that piece of terrain into him. Because mm -hmm. um, then, because otherwise, it could get thrown into Rhino himself. But looks like I mean, now that he's, he's going to. Do... Yeah. I mean, if we're we're at round two and he's put no damage into Hulk. I don't think killing Hulk is part of the plan. Yeah. Yeah, still... he's just gonna move. And then he's gonna move and steal and then move again. Yeah. Onto the point where Shuri is. Yeah, that seems fair. Which means that Hulk is going to bowl with him. 
Okay, so he's looking to move and attack and maybe oh yeah, you don't have to you don't have to uh move again onto the point. You could attack Yeah. Oh, he's attacking Sam. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, this is a better line than the one I first just yeah. said. Okay. Yeah, because then he can probably get, hopefully get the KO on Sam, and then place within one of Hulk and Ooh. do. That's enough. A good oh, pull. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Three damage. Yeah, oh, because... oh, he places before damage. So. Yeah. Oh, he was too fast to move, remove it. Yeah, yeah. Because he definitely could be within one of uh, Hulk. Yeah, well, he was going to be in within one anyway, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. So throwing away Hulk medium now, Ooh. Uh, and then moving on the onto the other side of the point. I think that's a very good uh, move by Rhino here. Yeah. And now I think the the, the Wakanda team is going to have a bit of a rough time uh, with being one activation down. Yeah, one activation down, and Hellfire has all four scrolls. I don't know. I, yeah. uh, this is tough. Uh, there is the fact that once he picks this up, he could be pushed towards Hulk. Yeah, that is true. So if Which he if he gets this, rough. he can roll on Shuri, attack on Shuri. If he doesn't, he he's probably in a spot where he's going to get bullied by Hulk. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming Hulk is just going to throw him into Shuri at that point, but that's... Um... Uh, we shall see if he gets his. Ah, uh, he got the he got the result. So okay. Uh, Rocky can then move Rhino onto the other side of the of the secure and pretty much be safe from Hulk. Yeah. So you just attack Shuri here, though, right? You just soften her yeah. up. Yeah, I think so. Oh. oh, oh, he's thinking about throwing the tank. At oh the... yeah, yeah. There you go. Throw the yeah, and then attack her. Uh, then attack her uh, you're like you can't kill her here because that's only four damage. Yeah, but you do have the attack. Afterwards. Yeah, exactly. So Shuri blocks one, taking three. Let's oh, see if the reroll comes in. Takes okay, so it takes two. Shouldn't have the power for the throw. Never spend a pickup. Uh uh. You're right, actually. I can't see. All right. Um, let's see here. He spent three part once for the card and the pickup. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, that works. Okay, so let's see here. He attacked into Sam. Then he spent three. Yeah, no, he's, yeah. he's, been, he's been three for the, for the throw and the pickup. So okay. that's, that's, that's fair. All right. Thank you. Thank you. ATM of Ruin. Thank you. Catching that. Alright, so Hulk is... Um, oh, man. He's done a move and a hop. So he's looking to... Uh, if he spenders, he can't pick it up. Let's see if he does that. Man, I think you have to... Do you have to risk the builder? You could. I mean, he has aggressive. He has aggressive, so you probably don't want to risk the builder. Oh, uh, you mean if you just want to daze him? Yeah. That's yeah, fine. I think you just need to daze him here. I think he's gonna roll seven because of that. You really, you're, you're kind of in a bad spot. So you need to, good things to happen, and mm -hmm. that's not good. All right, so you're taking he's taking one damage here on Rhino, and yeah. which he, is enough for him to aggressive after a throw, but he does yeah. get staggered. Oh no, he didn't do the spender, did he? I don't oh, know. okay, so he did. So, he did so what's yeah. gonna happen now is that Hulk's gonna throw that tractor into Rhino, and he would need Rhino to block nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, he's doing a Wakanda reroll actually. So, yeah, and Shuri rolls. Shuri roll. Oh, there we go. So now yeah. he's taking two damage, and now, now that he's taking two, he can pay to throw Rhino and guaranteed get it, guaranteed get the scroll back. Yeah, that's that's correct. So, all right. So Shuri's rerolls there. Uh, bailed him out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see if Rhino, or let's see if Hulk 
Uh, I think he can jump back to the ambush point there if he has enough power. No, he doesn't. He just used the last one. Picking it up. And he's staying there. Dang it, but... Okay, so we have Bill and Ultron left to go on the side of Hellfire Club. But Wakanda is all out of activations. This is a rough spot for them. Yeah, no, so... He has, uh, he has Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. Uh, yeah, this is where we'll see. We will see. Mm, that's uh, right, right. Uh, his ATM of Ruin is mentioning that if Rhino aggressive to the opposite side of Shuri, he wouldn't have been able to get thrown into her. And uh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's that's a good point. That we... So we're, we're, we're going to see how many secures won by the Hellfire team. We're going to see... I would assume we have... Uh, we're going to have... Well, they're probably only going to have... Bill get there with two moves. Um, Let's see here. <laughs> because if he does, they could do something like Bill double moves up to the middle point, and then Ultron moves to the, the back... the downwards point here, where... Uh, uh, close to Bill. Yeah. Another thing, another thing is that Rhino... Um... Rhino could have fallen back on the at, on that attack, yeah. and it would have been in a position to not be thrown. So, uh, yeah, it could yeah. have both fallen back and aggressive to to make things rough for so, uh, so. For Dylan. Um, Hulk has uh, only two power, so you mm -hmm. could f uh, okay. So I guess like uh, I guess I was gonna say you could face me, Hulk, but it's like now why would you? Okay, what well, you could yeah. is face me. A good card to play anywhere in here. Who has to play it? Does the character? Oh, I forget. The character activating. Active. Um, okay. Yeah. So you can still play it to get Shuri off the point if you wanted to. Um, but I guess like, why would you? You save. You're saving it for next round. Yeah. All right. Bill's going to double walk, throw Hulk into Shuri. Uh, that's, if he's in range there, that's a very... I uh, probably is, but it looks close-ish. I think getting uh, getting Hulk away uh, just off towards the cactus down in the bottom there, just to have him less impactful. Yeah. Another medium throw on him would be devastating. Yeah. This is Because this is where yeah. he was. This is where he was uh, on round one, and he got thrown into yeah. a medium and did nothing around... Not, yeah, so... Okay. Not sure I love that, but it okay. So he, yeah, okay. So he's out of range of the throw he wanted to do as well. I'm assuming he wanted to throw the pipes into Shuri. Yeah, I see that. That would have that would have brought the grunts back as well, but oh, for some reason he's not. Maybe oh, what's going on here? Uh, it's oh, he probably the... used uh, the measuring tool, yeah. so and then sometimes it's a bit off. Yep. So okay. it doesn't give the icon. So, yep, looks like Bill has the icon over his head now, so he's on the point, and looks like Bill just moving and walking, and that's it. All right, so Ultron to go now. I would assume we see a double move on the Cephalo beam. Maybe a, uh, we can see a terrain throw along the way to try and get rid of. Get your drones like, back. He has, he has enough power to do both the Cephalo beam and the terrain throw, so I would assume moving up to the middle, throwing one of the terrain, like the pallet of barrels onto Shuri. And then uh, encephaloing uh, Hulk off the point. Yeah, seems like the fair the fair deal to do to to make sure you score three. At that point, he will score six points, uh, which will probably be very hard to overcome. Yeah, for it'll be a six combat. to one in this round. So fourteen. Six to, to two. Six, six to, to two. two yes. Actually, yes. He has two. He has the scroll and the the back the back ambush here. Yeah, with Killmonger on it. So fourteen to nine is a rough spot to to climb out of. He would like he does have Wakanda Forever, so he can have an incredibly impactful turn. I am not at all loving that he went that route, but he's not on the point. No, that's the problem. Oh, all right. Okay, so that means he can't bring the grunts back. He can encephalo. Oh, he can encephalo Shuri off for the same points result, but it does mean that Hulk is yeah. So he's just tying that point instead. 
I think that so, um, I think that what just happened there with that range three and that not being on the secure was like, oh man, I, it's like it makes me uncomfortable when that it, yeah. like happens because like, like I don't know, he uh, he put his character down and then yeah. saw it wasn't where he wanted it to be and then put him yeah. down again. So you basically he just used a proxy base there. Yeah, uh, you kind of have to like. Um, I mean, I I think I think it's, it's, it's as tough. long as the movement tool is is laying down and you're trying to figure out the position, so to speak. You're you're kind of like if you're picturing the real life, you're like hovering the model yeah. over where you're about to put exactly. it. Exactly. Is like yeah, there, so it's like it's hard to know where it's where it's egregious and where it's like yeah. this is how we play the game. In these cases, yeah. it's it's uh, the. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would have liked to basically have him holding Ultron and not having him hit the board at all. Yeah. Uh, before, because like picking then picking him up again, uh, you basically just proxy based is what has happened, which is not yeah. according to the rules. So you try to avoid that when you're playing your games if uh, if you're watching. Okay, so we're starting out with the Hulk activation here. This needs to be a big one if you're doing Hulk first. Uh, the general accepted wisdom is to save Hulk's activation for as late as possible because displacement is way better when held for the late game. So that is a all there's no that's two hits on the push, and then we now see the Shuri rolls coming in. Better, he does have the, the leadership reroll as well if he wants to. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That is a pretty big hit. Uh, that is five hits into... into. Well, he does have cover. No, it, yeah, he does have cover. So he will take four. Okay. All right, he's going to fall back here. What's Hulk's yeah. options now? Um, he can gamma leap to no, he was gamma leaps. Okay, so he can't really do him. He just needs to. Uh... I mean, he can probably throw uh, a rhino into him, which feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, I mean, he uh, it seems like that's the case, or he, he just would... spenders he spenders rhino and hopes to get the, the throw from that way because then you have a chance of dacing both. Yeah, I like I like that. And then you... Then you get a stagger on through right now as well. I'm not sure if he's actually in range with right now. Oh, right he's now, doing I just a, realized. All right, so he's doing a move action. Oh, yeah, maybe he wasn't. Uh, I would assume he wasn't in range of right now then. Okay. But now he's throwing right now into Ultron. And if, if Ultron survives this, he's going to have a big activation. Yeah, it's going to. It is not unlikely that he will. Yeah, he will survive. So I uh, missed the. Uh, they they applied the score. What? Oh, sorry. What? Uh, what happened? Ultron was on the point. How did he only go to thirteen? I thought we were talking about fourteen. Yeah, because he never he never moved Shuri off the point. Right. Right. Uh, okay. so, so they tied the middle point. So he scored one less. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So we see uh, Ultron surviving on one, which probably means we're going to be looking at an Ultron activation now. I would assume. Let's see if he... Uh, Wakanda Forever goes. could ping Ultron that last point of damage. That is true. You're not wrong. I think that's probably worse at this point. Uh, he already otherwise... activated. I think he pays out and it turns over. But yeah, shoot. Uh, it's tough. Uh, yeah, Wakanda Forever there uh, from Shuri would have... And then you would have put uh, one attack into Emma as well with Panther. All right, so. Okay, so. Here's Ultron doing a spender into Hulk here, Under. so. Yeah. So he can push everyone off the point, basically. Yeah. And he just needs the trigger to hit. On uh, no, he's go. throwing. Okay, so he's throwing the. Oh, no, did he? Wait. What is going on? I don't know why. Why the blue and red are throwing dice here. I think he, he would have spawned the grunts if he threw terrain. So, oh, either yeah. way. What's going on? Okay, so he spent uh, four power. Why did he spend four power on Ultron? And then he rolled. Oh, well, now now he rolled. He rolled enough dice for the for the spender. 
Oh, and then he's rolling several defense rolls, maybe. But he was rolling after him, which is a yeah. There we go. All right. Okay, so Shuri's. Oh, okay, I see here. Here, the okay. Is, though, the, the red, red the, was the, the trigger. The trigger on the on the spender also affects uh, Rhino. So if he rolled the trigger on the spender, he needs to push. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That so if he cool. rolled the, <laughs> if he rolled the trigger, he needs to push Rhino away as well. Yes. Yep. And I, man, explosive force is such a an incredible uh, add-on ability to an attack. Strong. It's just yeah, like it you get to strong. displace. If you roll a wild, you displace literally everybody around you. Yeah. Uh, it's like um, there's no size restriction on that, is there? There's no size restriction. That's just crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my god! I, mean. I think i think ultron with his spender is such an insane force uh and right now we see wakanda being in a real bind because uh unless they make something crazy happen yeah he's just throwing to get the grunts out now yeah nice catch And he bo he also takes damage and gets ornery from it. Yes, yeah. So yeah, there we go. I think they've applied it. it Looks like it. And now here comes the damage on Rhino. Should be damaged. Yeah, he's been damaged. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't see that on the. He has not been damaged. Like I mean, he was damaged from. Pump. That was from oh, throwing oh, right. Hulk throwing yeah, him yeah, in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, so he should have damage as well. All right. Um, okay. Like I think that you really need to like the biggest problem right now is that you don't have. I mean, you can get, you can like you can get to Ultron with move move, Wakanda forever maybe or move charge, Spender. Do you have enough? Game is over. Can't win matches. We're just finishing up for VPs. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah, so it looks like Hellfire takes us one. Another EU European victory. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm against one of you four coming up. <laughs> that is that is the way it looks. We'll see who it is. Uh... Okay, yeah, All right, we'll see. All right, so Panther's going into Emma here and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Do you have any events that you're going to in the near future? Um, I don't right now. I'm I'm I'm, look, I'm eyeing Austria. Uh, Austria has an Austrian Masters. Uh, they're playing. Uh, but we'd have uh, I'm hosting a big event, uh, sort of modeled after Second Wind in Malmo in Sweden. Right, that's right. Uh, yes, that's yes. What is June, it called? So, Sweden Wind or something? Uh, Swedish Wind. But Swedish we're calling it, well, we had we had a multiverse of Malmo, yes, uh, last year. So this is multiverse of Malmo Volume Two, Swedish Wind. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's in a brewery, um, and we are currently. I haven't. Uh, I need to update the roster again, but I think we're about thirty-two players. Uh, right now, and I'm I'm hoping to be able to push it up to 64, but we can accommodate any, anywhere between 32 and 64, uh, which should be cool. Yeah, that uh, sounds that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just sad I don't have that many events to go to that I'm not hosting myself. But <laughs> so, you'll uh, so but you'll be at uh, WTC again. Later oh yeah, in the year. yeah, yeah, for, yes, for, yes, for sure, cool. for sure. We're going yeah. we're going with with our new name is Good Under Steve. <laughs> 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 that's great i'm excited i'll be able to see you there too which, which will be very cool yeah cool all right you're, you're coming with the canadian team right no 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 
<laughs> I, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm playing for an American team. Oh, you are cool. Yeah, I'm a mer- I'm a mercenary for uh for all right the USA team. We're called uh, the Invaders. Is, is our team? Ah, uh, right. Cool. So who are you playing with? Who, who Mike DeLuca is the captain of the team. Or ah, uh, right. Yeah, he's he told me he was uh, he was gonna come again. I had a lot of fun talking with Mike last year. Yes, yeah. And you were on the Danger Room podcast recently too, which was very cool. Yeah, uh, it was a great episode. Thank you. I'm I do try to preach the 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 non-tilt strategy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As much as possible. Okay, so they're just wrapping up their their final sort of roles for VP. They've called it math-wise. Oh, that's a big yeah, they would see a I think there's longer. nothing else to do, right? I think they don't even oh. have to play the rest of the rounds. Let's let's see them put the scores in, and once they do that, we'll uh, we'll jump into their room, into their room. Yeah. A little sad we never got to see Face Me played because I love the card. Mm, yeah, I, I know, play... right? I used it's to play awesome. with Malakith, and it was so much fun. Yeah, I remember playing it on uh, in, in my first finals. My first finals uh, in season yeah. eight, I played it, and it was awesome. It was such a, it's such a cool yeah. card. Uh, all right, let's see. They're just gonna get their. He's just gonna rock. So I was just uh, not that it matters, but like um, rookie boy had uh, the highest VPs after round one. So mm-hmm. if he gets he was at 23. If he was at 23, and I think Pat uh, beat me by one VP, he's at 39. Yeah. So he just needed uh, 13 to tie Pat, which is what he's at now before the round, this last round. So I think he's going to be, gonna be <laughs> the, the highest yeah. VP scorer uh, yeah. in the bracket so far, I think is what we're seeing here. So That looks like it. that's a lot of points in the last round. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's jump into their, uh, into their game. Cool. So 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 much luck. Was it yeah? Yeah, man, my uh, my dice just didn't help me a single time there. Yeah. The, uh, no, totally, not blocking, totally. I, like I couldn't, I couldn't block anything. Like that was the crazy. Like the uh, like you know, offensive dice or whatever. They you know, I never expect to do that much damage with Wakanda, but like defensively, just like every time, like I couldn't, like I, you just wrecked me every time you hit me. It was like, oh, here's three damage, here's five damage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're completely right. I, I don't remember a single spike from you, you know, and I got no, like seven, no. oh, eight spikes. Oh, I didn't you know? spike. I didn't spike a single time this game. Yeah, I didn't get a. I get. I didn't get a single good roll. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. I got like some and, okay and, rolls. The, uh, yeah, but, yeah. E- and even when you got some little above average rolls, I would still block everything. You right. Know? Yeah. Exactly. Emma, yeah. Emma, but that's Emma, the way the game with, works. With two guys, Emma with two guys blocked like I don't know five. Right, that's exactly, crazy. right, right. <laughs> yeah, but that's the way every time she would block something. Nice so, game, you know? Yeah, sometimes she would even block two, and I'm like, come on, I'm running two dice and I'm blocking two. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, thankfully, the uh, uh, I get angry at games where like I feel like I could have played better, but if it's a dice game, it just you know, the, uh, you know, I I can't get that angry at it because I don't feel like I played poorly necessarily. I just you mm-hmm. know, the, the dice beat me. Yeah, totally. Hey guys, well, good luck with it, man. The were yeah. so different. <laughs> yeah, 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 it happens. Man. It happens. Oh, thanks, hey, what's up, Lucas? thanks for letting us uh, stream the game. It was uh, it was really interesting with two scenario teams and uh, um, and Dylan, you brought Hulk. What was your thinking over going with Hulk instead of maybe six wider or something like that? Um, uh, I wanted to try to keep priority. I, I had a feeling he was going to be bringing like Ultron, the uh, um, and some big hitters, and so I was hoping to be able to hit him back. You know, I've been pretty successful being relatively aggressive with Wakanda, um, and I just I really thought I would be able to you know get in there and hit him, but yeah, you know, my dice just wouldn't allow me to do damage today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It was, uh, it, yeah, we could see that, uh, like you were just saying, that um, you didn't get any uh, these of those massive spikes. That um, so, um, re- you guys both had, you guys both had dual affiliations too. You had the Sam Avengers flex. Were you concerned at all about the Black Order being a thing, or were you once you saw the crisis, were you feeling like he was bringing Hellfire? 
I was pretty sure he's bringing Hellfire. I mean, especially since he had played Hellfire the majority of the season. That's what he told me. The end. I have the Sam Avengers flex just in case, but I generally play. I haven't played them yet. The end. That's really for a team that I think is gonna like uh, like a Guardians of the Galaxy that's just gonna like kick Wakanda's you know off the board. The uh, um uh and yeah the uh, um and I just didn't think that bringing like a uh. Uh, two more three threats instead of the Hulk was going to be good because I knew he was going to have some that I, that Ultron really scares me. I thought he was just going to if I had, you know, magic out there, the uh, and an Okoye, I was like, oh, well, they're going to get wrecked real fast. <laughs> the, uh, um, so, um, uh, yeah, just just didn't go my way today, man. Yeah. And uh, and rookie boy, you um, you had the Black Order there. So you're but uh, you ultimately went with Ultron here. And what what was your pick? What what was your thinking on bringing Ultron over, uh, over the other characters you had? I I played uh, a few a few of my last uh, practice games were exactly at twenty, and I brought this squad, and I really liked it. Even though I'm still kind of uh, new with using Ultron, I have used him like in five games or so. But uh, I was I was really uh, debating if I should bring Black Order with Ultron, and uh, I was also thinking about that. But I, in the end, I said uh, maybe I think uh, Hellfire can do really good here. I wasn't expecting Hulk, so that's why I didn't bring Brace, and I was like, oh man. But then I decided to throw everything at him before before he could throw much stuff. And I, I don't like attacking Hulk, so I don't feed him power, and then he can just do little things yeah that's fair you chose to not you also do you have um do you have the age of ultron in your cards because you yes didn't... yes but the thing is if i bring age of ultron nobody's gonna attack him <laughs> yes that's what we were so, saying on stream yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it, it's the second game i play on stream and it's the second game I, I don't bring the age of ultron and i don't know well if you place a scroll into him then it makes the opponent try to kill him and maybe there you can use the the age of ultron card but uh, i thought face me would uh, would be more useful because I, I really get a lot of uh, use of that card. I didn't need to here because my dice decided for me. <laughs> but yeah, that's right. Caller, do you have questions for the players? Uh, well, I I was I was wondering a bit about the setup uh, because uh, uh, rookie boy, <laughs> I noticed your bill was standing uh, straight across from uh, from is it Dylan, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Dylan's Dylan's uh, ambush point. Uh, was there any, ever any thoughts of just having him double walk over to that that point at the start of uh, like as your last activation? I rarely do that. Uh, if I have three power and I could throw somebody out uh, and yeah. just be on the point, then maybe. But uh, I don't know. I would be too close to there. Maybe uh, I don't know what uh, what his Hulk would be. What do. And I, I I gambled on the dice with uh, four dice on miles against yeah. uh, three dice with cover not not cover because I placed within two but I I gambled on miles dice and it started uh, uh, my, my dice were on fire from the very first yeah. roll so then yeah, that was just, that was a big roll yeah yeah I, I did three damage plus the throw so mm -hmm. so he was yeah. on one four damage dice, on a so. four dice attack yeah man yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that one hurt crazy. No, that one really hurt <laughs> yeah and then, and then that's why i decided with bill to use the other attack which i yeah. rarely do but then i, I saw <clears throat> that using the leadership i would still uh, beginning begin the next turn with three power so yeah. I, I thought yeah maybe i'll go for the kill and i, I got lucky again so Dylan. Yeah, because uh, normally I was expecting him to go uh, to go up on points on first round because of Pryo and because of uh, spirit of the spirit of Wakanda, but uh, and, you know the the, the dice started uh, hitting pretty fast, and I was able to to mm. to slow those points. <coughs> I'm sorry. So Dylan, I, I noticed you got you actually got a decent attack into Hulk at the uh, sorry into Rhino uh, at the start of the game where uh, you left Rhino on three. Was there ever any consideration of just trying to pile on to him even more uh, before he got to do his things? I, I noticed like you you were able to Whoa. keep like, he was he was uh, he was being kept um, he was being kept in check by being by being so low health, which was pretty yes. cool. 
<laughs> right. Well, I did go into him that following round, right? Yeah. Uh, as I, I went and tried to go into him before he could get back there to my Hulk and um and uh Rhinobrium, right? Yeah. yeah, like but then my dice just I didn't do any yeah. damage to him. Yeah. yeah. Um and it was just like, okay, and then I didn't do any damage to Emma on the following attack, I don't think. Yeah, and so it was just like, man, the uh, uh when she sacrificed him and and so it was like, okay, I could possibly do a Wakanda forever there and maybe, yeah. you know, the, get him. But it was just wasn't, yeah, the dice really hurt me in that round. That was the, like, that was what I needed. Like, oh, that I was, felt a, like that was I a big round, yeah. Yeah, I felt like if I could have gotten Rhino off, like like dazed him there, then I could have, you know, done something else with Hulk as opposed to having to, you know, get my, get the scroll back, right? The, uh, um, I could have been, you know, I could have gone after Ultron or, you know, secure another point or something like that. But it just became the, uh, at the, once I, once I failed, you know, multiple attacks into him, it just, yeah. uh, so I did, I, I agree, Collar. I, I was trying, yeah. man. I was trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's another question about Wakanda Forever. Did you ever consider uh, using Wakanda Forever to get the last damage point into, uh, uh, into Ultron? Yes, into Ultron. I did, man. I thought about doing it, but you know what? Every time I rolled into Ultron um, uh, with my Shuri, he blocked it all. The, uh, every time. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, um, and then I was like, okay, could I? I looked at the angle and I was like, okay, could I push him? to a point yeah. where i could maybe get you know an attack off and i was like no the distance was too far the short push wasn't yeah, gonna yeah, get yeah. in range to get a second attack into him i was hoping that he was gonna maybe not activate ultron you know the uh, maybe yeah. just give give me give me a break on that one and activate <laughs> somebody else first um uh and then maybe be able to get the not just the uh wakanda forever but like a um uh, but get the usurp off and get the easy you know two vps yeah. but uh, honestly at that point like i'd done the Math. He had Miles uh, with a scroll sitting on a point, and he had Bill sitting on a point. So he was yeah, going to need a, You need a you needed a lot of things to go your right. way. To right at that, that point, and, yeah, exactly. At that point, I was just like, the game is pretty much over. I could yeah. make myself feel better by you know maybe dazing Ultron here, but yeah. um, you know it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna be a massive change to the to the end. No, result. no, I agree. There was there were some 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 pretty pretty heavy swings in Rookie Boy's favor uh, earlier. So. Yeah. Yeah, it totally. happens though, you know. It just really does, you know. It's a dice game, and you know, mm -hmm. the I, I I really like this game, and you just got you got you got to deal with the ups and downs of it. The uh, um, got to flow sure with that, it, right? I mean, last yeah. game uh, that I played, um, uh, you know, I I uh, got Killmonger got left on one uh, uh, stamina. Yeah. right before i was able to get so i mean the dice went in my favor that time and allowed me to win the game and this time it just it, you know they they said okay karma's coming back at you <laughs> yep okay well thank that you was guys. all the questions i had <laughs> yeah thank you guys for letting us stream the game and uh and uh congratulations for making it into the top 16 right out of uh all the players that signed up over 250 in the swiss brackets alone and uh, yeah, so that's really great. And congrats to Rocky, uh, Rookie Boy for uh, advancing into the top eight. So um, yeah, this will be, we got four Europeans in the, in the top eight here. So it's going to be Europe versus the world coming up in the top eight. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Uh, I think it's Europe versus Canada. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's there. There's three of yeah. There's three Canadians. That is fair. Yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Europe versus Canada. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you guys right. very much, and uh, and we'll catch you next time. I'm thank sorry, you. America. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Yeah, good job, Ricky. Okay. I want you to win it all, brother. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye. All right, that's the last game of the top 16. Thank you, Caller, for joining me. And yeah, we got three three Canadians and we got four people from the Europe bracket. So it's going to be quite the face-off this coming week. Uh, there we go. Top 16 done. We'll see you in the top eight.